today I'm going to demo the install of the butterfly lock topper and I'm going to demo the install on my natural hair mannequin. So as you can see, my mannequin has naturally curly hair. Um, I decided to clip the hair back, braid down the top, the hair in the top, and you'll notice that I braided it in a circular motion in the top. This gives you the flattest surface if you are going to use a hair topper. If you have a lot of thickness and length in the top, a circular braid will give you the flattest space. Control the hair, the topper will sit more flat or closer to the uh, to the scalp with the circular braids versus going straight back or some other braiding pattern. So I find that the circular braiding pattern is the best if you're gonna wear a topper, if you have hair in the top. Now, if you don't have hair in the top or you have enough just to comb it back, you can still do that and clip the topper in place without having to worry about bulk or density. So now I'm going to clip the butterfly topper into place. And this is one of the units from the 60 Second Clip and Go collection. This is the uh, Butterfly Lock Topper. Um, now this topper comes in a variety of sizes. So do all of my other toppers. Uh, but this particular size is the standard size, which measures a seven inch by six. So it's seven inches long and it measures uh, six inches wide. So it's a seven by six. And you can see that there are, it's nice and full. So there are plenty of locks on the topper. So you have no worries there with having, you know, a, a topper that doesn't, have enough locks on it so I have kind of measured out the area and braided down the area that I want the topper to be installed or applied to um, and so you'll see how the braid helps keep the hair under control under the topper and it also helps the topper sit as flat as possible on the top of the mannequin's head now again if you don't have enough hair to braid that's fine you can still slide the clips underneath the hair um, and close the clips so you should still be fine um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and demo placing the topper on the area that's braided and clip the topper into place. Now this topper is perfect for someone who is natural, who may wear their sides maybe shaved or if you wear it buzz down low, you know, and you just like to change it up a little bit, you like wearing locks, maybe you don't have enough hair to lock or maybe you don't want to commit to locks or maybe, you know, you just like to change your hair often like I do, so that's fine. So um, the, the butterfly lock clip and go topper is perfect for you. So I'm just going around now and clips, um, sliding the clips underneath the braid. So 60 seconds to clip and go. So the, the lock stays, I'm um, sorry, the topper stays true to the name. You can clip it in place and be out of there. As long as you have done your prep work, meaning that you have, you know, added your uh, product to your sides and the back and the top. And as long as you have measured out the area correctly, once you clip it into place, you can go about your day. So as you can see, the topper is now clipped into place on the mannequin. Um, and now you just proceed to style the locks as you like. So however you like to wear your style, if you want to wear it um, over to one side. And I typically, when I style my mannequins, I usually do have it over to one side. But if you like to wear your hair on the back, that's an option. And I'm just, I think I have it in place now. So you can kind of see how the topper looks installed because I get a lot of questions hey can you show us the back or how does it look or how does it work or you know can I wear it if my hair is a certain type of way and so I thought the best way to kind of show you how it works or how it looks is to just do a demo so you can see that the topper is nice and full um, there are a ton of locks here and if you order this unit and you don't want it as full you can also uh, request that it not have as many locks if you don't like it this full but um, you'll, you can see that you can wear it. It's nice and full. You can actually switch sides. So if you like wearing the hair to the other side, you can do that and let me place the clip over on this side now. So I've got the topper in place. And so now on this side, you can flip the hair and have it going the other way. So the most important thing I would say is to make sure that you have the correct measurements so that your topper will fit properly and that the area that you need to have covered is covered and you don't have to worry about any sliding or shifting um, as i said you can wear the, the the locks going to either side and you can wear them going back that's one lesson like it's very important to measure because you want the best po possible fit and so that comes with measuring because your fit your measurements pertain mostly to the base of the unit Let's see, I'll let you see the back. 
how the topper looks in the back. So you can see the topper in the back. So if you wear a shaved, a shaved back, that topper will fit right over that area. Like you can have it down in the back, or if you want to have it going forward um, towards the front of your hair, you can do that too. So you have a lot of flex. And again, if you don't like as many locks on it, if you don't like the fullness, too much fullness, you can request that it not have as many locks. So you can see as I go through the unit that it's nice and full. There are not any gaps or spaces in the unit. So you can pretty much be create as creative as you want. Um, if you want to pick it up and maybe do a, a updo pony with your locks, you can do that as well. 